News, your source of latest breaking Katina news. We are reporting straight out of Joseph J. Katina Newsroom on this beautiful morning. I'm Anthony Ayub, and here, and here with me today is Jason, Mia, Ferris, and Basil. Happy to be here with the arrival of spring. Katina Super Kids have finally bid farewell to the harsh winter weather. Those sudden snowstorms during dismissal were crazy this winter. Isn't the weather recently just spectacular? It sure has been nice having the sun out longer due to daylight savings, too. Did you hear that Rita's and Dairy Queen were giving out free ice cream on the first day of spring? That's amazing! What an awesome way to celebrate the warmer weather! I have a joke for you, Paris. What do you call a bunny with fleas? I don't know. What do you call it? Bugs Bunny! Get it? <laughs> okay, team. I'm excited for spring too. But let's get back to let's get back to the Katina news. Let's start by highlights of wonderful things that our Katina Super Kids have been up to. First, the entire school has been working together to help raise money for pennies for patients. The pennies for patients program raises money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. That's right, look under those couches in your home for coins. Keep an eye out for spare change on the sidewalk. Ask your family if you can earn more money and more. Anything to help this amazing annual Fatina fundraiser and those strong super kids. Not only will we help support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, but the classes that raise the most money will get a class reward. First place will receive a pizza party, and second place will be an ice cream party. What a great motivation. Speaking of supporting others in need, here's our second shout out to you, Liv. Liv, we all are wishing you the wishing you the best and here and are here whenever you may need. We all know you will hashtag fight like a unicorn. You, you are Katina Strong. In other news, take out your pencils and agendas, super kids. We have some upcoming events that you are going to want to jot down. The Evening of Arts and Sciences is Wednesday, May 22nd. Field day is scheduled for Thursday, May 23rd. Ladies Night Out event will take place on Thursday, April 11th. Katina's third annual golf outing will take place on May 20th. Well, now time to check in with our co-anchors, Julia, Lori, and Rebecca to hear more about our upcoming events. Out to you, Julia. Thanks, Ferris. I'm Julia. And here with me today is Lori and Rebecca, my partners in today's second segment of the second installment of JGC News, Season 6. Thanks, Julia. Attention all Katina Super Readers. Our next Scholastic Book Fair will be during media the week of May 20th. And don't forget, this book fair will be the BOGO Book Fair. That means buy one, get one. Perfect. We can get an extra book to start our own collection of summer reads. Yes, and more summer reads means more scholastic summer reading challenge. Minutes to log. Last year we did our best, best yet in that summer reading challenge. Speaking of summer, that means field day is approaching. Remember to wear your color squad shirt here to represent your team. This year's theme is All American Barbecue. That's right, Rebecca. And this year's field day will be on Thursday, May 23rd. Yay! Yay! With a rain date of Thursday, May 30th, just in case it rains. Don't forget the point of field day is not to win, but to have fun. As super kids to show teamwork and good sportsmanship and communication skills. The week after that, Lori, is the fifth grade social on Friday, May 31st. May sound super exciting. Another important date to mark on your container calendars the fifth grade moving up ceremony with a tentative day of June 14th. We'll be wishing our fifth grade friends a farewell goodbye as they leave Katina and move on to Eisenhower High School. What an exciting time for our Katina of class month. Let's take the time to discuss the JJC Mindfulness Challenge from last week's episode. We hope everyone tried the Mindful Minute with their family at home. This week's challenge will be sending kind thoughts to someone as you meditate. These kind, these kind thought, thoughts can be done in school or at home. Now that you've heard about heard more about the upcoming events at our JJC News 
mindfulness challenge, let's dive into the interview portion of our newscast. The TV news crew will be discussing Mrs. Shaw's classroom visits and read alouds and class discussions. Without further ado, let's discuss. Hello everyone, it's Bea Salvin here again with all your JJ Sue's news makers. We're coming at you with a broadcast exclusive. That's right, the Katina School's classrooms were fortunate enough to get a visit from Miss Shaw. We would like to take this opportunity to speak about some of the books and conversations we had in our classrooms. In fourth grade, we read the book called Most People by Michael Lena. And that uh, it's okay to be it's it's okay to be um like everybody, you just want to be a good person and you weren't um meant to um um be like everybody and you wanna stand out. The book taught us kindness. I learned that it's okay to be like most people. So I'm going to record a book in discussion. In third grade, we read the book titled Wordy Birdie. In Wordy Birdie, we learned that you have to listen to other people just as much as you talk. And that you have to listen to people as much as you talk to people and make sure that you're respectful. I learned that you shouldn't talk when other people are talking because that's not respectful and it could get you in danger if they're trying to tell you something. I learned if you don't, if sometimes you don't listen, you might get hurt. I learned to listen to people and not just talk about yourself. We all truly learned a lot from the book and our class discussions. It's always nice to take time to refocus on kindness, friendship, and how to make each other smile. That's all about the time we have today, folks. These are your JJC News Anchors signing out. We'll, we hope we'll see you next week with our third installment of JJC's News. Until then!